Congratulations on choosing your perfect business name. And I hope you kept the reminder in mind. Now it is time to do some real research here. Having said that, it is crucial that you do this. Now, when it comes to your business name, you have to make certain that no one else has your business name. You do not have to have the same business name as your competitor. Imagine two of you walking around. Who's who? You do not want to do that in business either. Now, having said that, it depends on your location. If you are watching this and you are overseas or you're not in the USA per se, you, you might be able to get away with that. But still, it doesn't make sense. It's probably something you would not want to practice as a business owner. So I do not suggest it and I don't think that it's something you should do. So what you need to do is you need to go online in that small business website, SBA website. So if you go into SBA.com, you should find a small business website. What you need to do now, you need to actually look for your business name, the, your chosen name, the one that you chose. I hope you are very creative with the name. I give you enough stuff to come up with something very unique, very interesting, and very relevant. So I hope you did the due diligence for that one. Now, once you do that, you need to Google the business name. Once you Google that name, your chosen name, make certain that no one else has it. Make certain that you don't have any search results with your specific business name. If you do, my friend, you still got some work to do. You need to go back and find something that is unique. The possibilities are endless here. Get creative. Enjoy it. Have fun. And remember, this is your business name. This will be your project. So start with something that is interesting, that gives you motivation, energy, that makes you feel good. Once you're beginning to feel good about your business, then others can feel good about it. If your business name is clear and you feel good about it, I guarantee you other people might have the same feeling. So what you need to do is to make sure no one else has that name. You're gonna probably find another way of make certain that doesn't happen when it comes for us to do your domain name. But in this step here, you need to do it in order for us to keep moving. And again, do the steps as we go along by the end of the course you should have a fully functional business ready to be run and managed see you in the next lecture congratulations now it is time for you to pick the domain name for your website this is where you get creative now having said that you probably already have a domain name it's your business name Preferably, that's what you want to do. You want your domain name to be the same as your business name. Let's just say you had marketing for docs. So you would want your domain name to be marketing for docs. And you want it to be marketingfordocs.com or marketingfordocs.tech. Whatever your preference is, you can do it. Having said that, you also gonna need to check if the domain name for your business is available. So what you need to do is you need to go to GoDaddy or Bluehost or iPage for that matter. There's various platform that you can do this. Whatever is your choice, that's the one that you need to work with. Now you're gonna find either they're gonna do your domain and they're gonna do hosting as well. So. We're going to talk about that a little bit more. However, once you go to that website, whether that be GoDaddy, find out if they have the domain name available. Sometimes they may not have that specific name available. But if you are actually adamant about the name you pick, you can definitely make some sacrifices. I guess it wouldn't matter if you have something like marketing for docs but instead you have marketing for doctors. 
it shouldn't matter if that is what you want and you adamant that's what you want. But you have to be a little bit flexible. Having said that, once you pick the domain name, you are in the first step in creating your website. Remember, get creative. It is about creative. And you want the domain name to look professional. Remember, whatever your personality is as a business person, sometimes it comes through in your business name. So keep that in mind. Check to see if your chosen name is available for your domain. 